Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the last edition of Inside the Huddle for 2019. And of course, Lafayette, the big rivalry against Lehigh is going to happen this Saturday at 1230 over at Goodman Stadium. It's going to be a great ball game and a, a ball game that's a lot closer on statistically as people think. If you look at it by the numbers, I like to talk about by the numbers. So let's look at these two teams and how they kind of break down. First of all, scoring offense. Lafayette is scoring 18.5 points a game. Lehigh, 15.7 points a game. If you look at scoring defense, in other words, how many points Lafayette and Lehigh give up? Lehigh's giving up 21.8, Lafayette 27.5. If you look at rushing offense, which I think is a huge key with Selwyn Simpson and obviously uh, uh, the quarterback uh, doing a great job, Shoemaker running the football out of the pocket. Lafayette is, is rushing for 114 yards a game. That is a big factor this week where Lehigh has struggled a little bit using several different running backs and now on their third quarterback for the season, 72 yards. So that is huge. If you go to rushing defense, look at how close this is. Lehigh, 232.1 yards a game. Lafayette, 231.6. It can't get much closer than that. So again, which defense is going to step up and stop the run and force teams to be one-dimensional? Sacks. Look at the sacks. 25 for Lehigh. 25 for Lafayette. But one man that's coming on strong is Malik Ham, and obviously Ryan Barnett are doing a great job. And don't forget about Keith Earl, the linebackers, the front seven for Lafayette has, I believe, a distinct advantage as well as the offensive line for Lafayette. If you look at punting, this could be a major key depending on weather factor, wind over there in a stadium that's wide open. Lafayette 32.8 per punt, Lehigh 34.1. Both very, very poor numbers. So who's going to punt the ball better? Who's going to possibly get that punt return to set up their offense? And the last one you got to look at right here is turnover margin. Both of these teams have not been good taking it away or giving it away to the other team. Both teams come in at a minus four, and obviously the reflection on both of their uh, records, you look at the two records, are a reflection of turnovers. Lafayette, though, is plus one in the last four games. So if you look at this entire thing by the numbers, this is what we call the roller coaster of Lafayette and Lehigh. So you be there, 1230. Gary and I will be there to bring you the game. It's going to be a fantastic game. Hopefully Lafayette with a, still a shot to win the Patriot League title, need a little bit of help. We'll see you, Lafayette Lehigh.